I've been asked what happens before you shoot videos, and that's what I'm going to cover today. 4.30 is when the alarm goes off. I like to get out ahead of the day. Um, you can see here, I just love getting out ahead of the day, <laughs> getting up before the kids. Got to get the coffee maker started. The kittens are getting up. Get the coffee rolling, go to the bathroom, get the kittens their wet food, which they enjoy so much in the mornings. And then it's time to get the glasses off, let out a big old yawn, get my contacts in. And uh, then I pick out a little something to wear that day. Yep, just changing the shirt up here. <laughs> and get some deodorant on of course who could forget that fill up my water jug and i end up uh, refilling that at some point later in the day for close to a gallon of water a day um, head up the stairs in the darkness get into the makeup room get my coffee on the coffee cup warmer. I do love that thing so much from Mr. Coffee. And then I start getting my lights on. If I'm shooting a video, um, I'm gonna turn all the lights on. So the ring lights, and then I have a couple of softbox lights. Um, when you're on YouTube for 15 years, that's many years worth of people telling you it's not bright enough. <laughs> and so I've accumulated a lot of lighting here. I have a little backlight that I actually turn on and I notice a difference when I don't use that. I'm plugging in my garland, also plugging in the hot rollers, there they are. And then I get my battery out for my little camera set up here. It's not the most like high tech and complicated situation. I just put in my battery and I put in my memory card and uh, my camera pretty much just stays stationary there. So that's what it looks like for me when I'm shooting my video. So now that my camera's on and my lights are on, um, I can start showing some of the skincare steps and everything that I do before I would start shooting, say, a get ready with me video. So um, I've been using this La Roche Pose, um, it says ultra micellar, uh, it's a different language. Sensitive skin micellar water. I started using this when I ran out of my um, It Cosmetics. I love that stuff, but they just don't make it anymore. So I get some of this on a cotton pad. I have these odd square shaped cotton pads right now. And I just run this all over my face. This is the first thing happening to my face today outside of putting in contacts. Um, I do not wash my face at the sink. I do feel like my skin stays clear and gets clean enough when I go over it with a pad that's saturated in this stuff. So just get that all over. Can take care of any residue from the day before. Ah, oh, yes. If my hair is just a bun or a ponytail, I will somewhat like neaten that up <laughs> compared to what you saw when I first got out of bed. Uh, but my hot rollers are heating up right now. So I let those continue to heat up while I do the skincare. At the end of the skincare, I pop them in. And then if you see me with hot rollers in at the start of a video, that's what's happened. Then I come over to the makeup fridge. I have this little, I don't know if I call it an ice roller, but it's a cold roller from Sephora. And it really wakes up the face. It feels very soothing. I think it probably depuffs a little bit as well. Uh, my favorite ice roller is from a brand called Flawless, and you can get it at Ulta for about 10 bucks and I do keep that down in my freezer downstairs and I will do that like at night a lot of times after my nighttime skincare or in the midst of my nighttime skincare let's say I put a serum on and I just roll the heck out of my face and it feels really good but yeah rolling now rolling rolling see don't you feel like it's already doing something for me <laughs> it's just emotionally emotional support roller love that terrific also in that fridge, I have like a couple of serums. I actually put my new vitamin C serum, which I will be using. I'm not using it yet. I've got it like a face mist and a couple of cooling eye balm things. I use three different Glossier serums. You can buy them in a trio. First is Super Pure. It's a niacinamide and zinc serum. And all these are about half used up. Then I move on to Super Bounce. This is the sequence they say to use them in. It has hyaluronic acid and B5. In comes a kitten. I think of this phase of the routine as just putting on my face vitamins. Mmm, they feel good, especially after you've done the roller. Yes. And then the final serum that I use is the Super Glow with vitamin C and magnesium. So I just do one good size drop of all of these every day. My skin has been very clear. I really don't break out much anymore, knock on wood. Uh, you know, you'll get the occasional like that time of the month zip. But just as a whole, my skin overall behaves really well. And it tends to be very balanced too, not overly oily, not overly dry. That first sip of coffee. 
Mm. So after my serums, I use my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is a uh, super size of that, which is worth it for me because I really do go through it. And I get a bunch of this on. Um, some people treat this as a straight up primer, but I do still have a couple other steps after I put this on. I treat this like AM skin cream because it just really gets the skin nice and hydrated before any products go on. Just a perfect moisturizer. I love the scent. Oh, it's so nice. Then, my friends, I've been wanting to reach for my Vanity Cream that I put in this empty Bobbi Brown tub because you know, like I've had my dryness and ever since I've routinely been using Vanity Cream on the under eye area, it really hasn't come back. So I get some of that on and I really work that in to this inner cavern. Really the cavern was where the problem was, yes. Just had some dry flakiness there for a while. And I put this on, it's so creamy. Like you'd swear it was just a really luxurious eye cream. And I just have my big old tub of it downstairs and I pump some into this. Felt real smart about that. And yeah, she's winning over Charlotte Tilbury right now. And then this is my daily sunscreen. It's the Super Goop Every Single Face Watery Lotion, SPF 50. And it is really, really thin. It adds a little additional moisture, but it is so nice and thin. It doesn't get me like crazy greasy. And it also doesn't have any kind of white cast that you gotta worry about. Okay. And this is where all my skincare lives. I've got my serums, I've got moisturizers, eye creams and some extra blenders, like beauty blender type things, and my sunscreens down below. And then some little tools in here. And I will pull out my handy dandy elf tweezers, my favorite tweezers in the game. So I can tell I'm getting older because I think I do have a little less to tweeze every day, but I do legitimately have eyebrow hairs. So I gotta get up really close. I do have eyebrow hairs to tweeze every single day. And, you know, I was looking actually over the weekend, I was cleaning out under our current bed because like I said in a past video, we're getting a new bed. That means all the under bed stuff <laughs> that's currently been shoved under present bed needs to be removed. And I had a box of old pictures and in some of those little albums were some college pictures and my brows were so thin. Like I, by the grace of God, they grew back. <laughs> Like, I'm so thankful that they did go ahead and grow back. As a little kid, I had like a little unibrow here. Not a full on dense unibrow. It wasn't as dense here as it was here, but it was just like something where, yeah, people did come up and pet it, so it was there. So in college, when Pamela Anderson brows were really the thing, I definitely fell into that. So I got that. There will always be little hairs down here. Just gotta do it. Just gotta take care of it. Then I've got my hot rollers back here and I just start putting those in. The nice thing about these Remington rollers is that the clips are attached so you're not fumbling through an additional little container for things, even though that's not a really big deal. It just, you know, every little ease in the morning helps. Today I was really feeling awake right at 4.30 when my alarm went off because there was a cat playing with my feet. So when the alarm went off, I was full on ready to get out of bed. Some days I will snooze it for a few minutes just to give myself a little extra time to reason with the fact that yes, it is, it is go time. But I think I explained in another video how it used to be five. Five worked out really well for a long time. And then Bubba kept wanting to wake up really early and to get around that time and kind of deal with that phase, I pushed my wake up time earlier so I could have enough time to still shoot videos. Then he kind of got through that and I kept my early wake up just cause I ended up feeling a bit more relaxed, I guess, knowing that I had plenty of time to do what I needed to do and not feel quite so rushed. So 4.30 it is. So it gives me a chance to do my video and then I have my time over at my desk there where I do my devotionals and everything. I feel like I have ample time for my, you know, makeup time and my prayer time and lately, you know, doing a little workout or a walk in the morning. So the Remington rollers have two sizes and I've been using the largest size around the crown and right here around the face and then all the rollers that go around like the lower part here, I'll use a smaller size. Funny thing is this is the video today. I'm not probably gonna shoot another video. But all in all, this takes me maybe three to five minutes to put in. My hair is not like the 
thickest head of hair ever, so I don't use the whole set. So that results in taking less time. A few rollers you can get away with putting in. Less time it all takes. Yesterday evening, the girls and their cheerleading squads got to perform at halftime of the SIU game. And it was an awesome game. It was a huge crowd. They made it like kind of a New Year's Day celebration thing. They had a 6,000 balloon drop. The girls and boys did amazing. And it was just really, really cool to be part of that. Um, our tickets were just, you know, in a group, a big chunk. And our seats ended up being so close to the action. So I just, I mean, I felt like I was playing the game. And then after the game, Kids are saying they're so hungry. We didn't get concession stand food because the lines were just like insane and nobody wanted to miss the game. So we go to Culver's and had the longest wait of life at Culver's. I want to say we sat in our car for a half hour waiting on the food, but I'm sure they had a rush, you know, after that game let out. But once we got home, it was late bedtimes for all after the food got consumed. And I also took down my Christmas trees yesterday. What the heck? I wasn't even really planning to do that, but I just thought if I don't do it now, then it'll get pushed back an entire week, and I don't really feel like that happening, so got the trees down. All right, so rollers are all in, and that, my friends, is what happens before I would shoot a video or just really any day before I start doing my makeup. I will say if it's just a regular makeup day, I don't turn on these two softbox lights. I just use my um, ring light and sit here and do my makeup. I've got this little mirror that's right here, that little mirror right there in front of things. It's really nice. It has additional light too if I want to use it. Oh, I forgot. I dampen my beauty blender. That's the last thing. And usually the thing where I'm like, oh, like the last thing you almost forget before things get going. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope it was somewhat interesting to see a little behind the scenes of what happens in my morning leading up to doing a video. As you can see, it's not all that glamorous, but you know, these are the steps I take. Maybe the next one will be what happens after I shoot a video because quite a bit gets packed in there as well. So thank you all so much for taking time to watch. I appreciate you. I love you and I will see you again soon. Bye. Love you. Yeah. A follow up. This is how it all turned out. Um, the hair is out of the rollers. I haven't really styled it at all. Just kind of got it fresh out and shook it out a little bit. Um, today I used my L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Tinted Serum as my foundation. I used the Drunk Elephant Drops underneath. On the eyes, I thought I'd give this palette a chance. Again, this Better Than Chocolate from Too Faced. Um, it wasn't like my favorite palette, but I do really like some of the shades, so I just did a little casual look with that. Um, my blush is the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush Mini here in the shade Hope, and then I layered up some of the steps from this um, I about said drunk elephant. That elephant ain't drunk. The elephant hourglass palette, the ambient lighting palette. How dare I accuse that elephant. Oh, and the lip. I talked about this on TikTok, the double wear lip pencils. I love how they have a brush on the opposite end and the buxom ones do have a brush also, but this is in the shade mauve. So I put that today over the remnants of my Fenty Gloss Bomb Ice. You know, I love using this like as I'm getting my look going. That was a little thing I didn't really include in pre makeup because I usually just remember it somewhere along the way. Um, I pop some of this on. It feels cooling. It feels refreshing. And yeah, there was a little bit of that remaining. I thought I'll just work with that. And I drew over it with this. And um, I love that kind of everyday easy lip. So that's the look, friends. See you later. Love you. Bye.